Today, I wanna to show you how you could turn your data in Microsoft Excel into a dynamic map. At the Kevin Cookie Company, we have a ton of sales data by country, but it's really hard to make sense of it. It'll really help me visualize the data if I could turn that into a map. And wow, look at that. It appears that India is one of our top markets. It's a good thing that we greenlit those cardamom cookies. You could also turn your map into a dynamic map. This way you can update the map based on your selections. Lastly, we'll also look at how you could turn your data into a 3D map. This way you can fly around to visualize your data in different ways. If you'd like to follow along today, I've included a sample spreadsheet right up there. All right, let's check this out. Here I am in Microsoft Excel, and here I have a performance dashboard for the Kevin Cookie Company. I wanna add a map view to this dashboard that shows me visually where all of the cookie sales are occurring. If you wanna just build a simple dashboard in Excel, I've included a video right up above that'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to do that. In this video, we're purely looking at the mapping capabilities. Down below, let's click on the worksheet titled Basic Map. Here on the Basic Map sheet, you'll see that I have two columns of information. In the first column, we list out all of the countries where we sell cookies at the Kevin Cookie Company. And in the second column, we have the associated number of cookies sold. To be able to create a map, you need some type of geographic information. Here, I have countries but you could also use city names, states, or even zip codes. Along with that, you need some type of data or values that go along with that geographic location. And here I'm using number of cookies sold. Now, unfortunately, you could only have one other column go with that geographic location. Now, right now, looking at all of this data, it's kind of hard to make sense of it. It'd be a lot better to visualize it with a map. So let's insert a map. To insert a map, go up to the top ribbon and on the tabs, select the insert option. In the center, the first way to insert a map is via recommended charts. When you click on that, here in the second position, you'll see the option to insert a map. If we go back, you'll also see a dedicated button for inserting maps. Here, when I click on that, I could insert a map and down below, there's also the option for more maps. However, there are no more maps. There's only one type of map that you could insert. So let's click on this map and check that out. I now have a map that shows me visually where we've sold all of our cookies. The darker the color, the more cookies we've sold and the lighter the color, the fewer cookies we've sold. I can now make modifications to this map. If I click on the title, I could give it a new name. Up above on the ribbon, I could also choose a different style. I could adjust the colors and I could even add in data labels if I'd like to. So I have a few different options for customizing this map. The great thing about maps is it'll adjust the view based on the geographic locations that you have in your data. Here, if we click into basic map two, you'll see that I have all of the different states in the United States. Here, once again, I'll go up to insert and I'll insert another map. Here, this will now generate a map that shows sales data for cookies in the United States. So here it optimizes the view just to the geographic location that I have data for. Now that we know how to create a basic map, let's take this to the next level and create a dynamic map. Back on my performance dashboard, I want someone to be able to come in and select a region. And depending on the region that someone selects, it'll show a map just for that region. All right, let's click into the dynamic map worksheet and we'll walk through how to make this work. Here on the dynamic map worksheet, once again, I want someone to be able to come in here and they could select one of the regions. Here you can see all of the different regions that we sell cookies in. Once someone selects one of these regions, I want this table down below to only show me the countries within that region. And once it updates the table, I also want a map just to show me that specific region. To get started, I wanna create a drop-down list here where someone can choose the region. 
So here, I'll select all of the different regions we operate in and I'll copy this column. Here, I'll paste it in over here. Up on the top tabs, I'll select data and here, I'll remove duplicates. I'll click on OK and this leaves me with all of the different unique regions. Also, I want this to be sorted in alphabetical order, so right up above, also within the data view, here I'll click on A to Z, and that's now sorted all of the different regions. Next, I wanna insert a drop-down list right up here with all of the different unique regions. To do that, also within the data view, here I'll click on data validation. This opens up the data validation prompt, and here under allow, I'll set it to list. For the source of the list, here I'll click on this option and I'll select all of these different regions. This now looks good, so I'll click on OK. And here now I have my drop-down list. Next, I wanna select a region from this drop-down list. So here let's say I go with Asia. When I select Asia, I want it to filter this table down below to just those countries within the Asia region. And to do that, we're going to use the filter function. But before I can use that filter function, there's one other thing that I need to do first. I need to know whether each one of these countries is within that region. And I'll use a basic true or false statement to do that. Here I'll insert another column. I'll right click on B and here I'll go down to insert. Over here, I'm going to simply ask, is this country in this region? So here I'll enter an equal sign, I'll select the region over here, and I'll ask if it's equal to this value right up here. I'm going to select this to an absolute reference, I'll press the F4 key up here, and that'll insert a dollar sign before the letter and before the number. Then I'll hit enter. So here I can see that India, it's true that it is within the Asia region. Here I'll pull it down, and now I can see whether every country is in that region. So here I could see the United States. Is that within Asia? No, that's false because the United States is in North America. I'm now ready to use the filter function. Here I'll click into this table with the country and the cookies sold. And by far the easiest way to enter a function is to use the function helper. Here I'll click on the insert function icon and over here I'll type in filter and then click on go. Here I'll select the filter function and then click on okay. This opens up the function arguments, and first it asks me for the array. Basically, when I run this function, what values do I want to get back? Well, here I want the country, and I also want the cookie sold. So here I'll highlight country, cookie sold, and I'll highlight all of this data. Next, it asks me what values do I want to include? Well, I only want to include the values where it says true. So here I'll highlight this entire column right here. Down below it asks me what to do if it's empty and that's an optional argument so I'll just leave that blank. This all looks good now so I'll click on OK. And check that out, this now produces a table with all of the different countries within Asia. Here I could go up to my drop down list and I could switch it to let's say Europe or I could switch it to North America and here you see this table automatically updates. Here I'll shift it back to Asia, and now I'm ready to insert my map. Here I'll click within my data. Once again, let's go up to insert on the top ribbon, and right over here, once again, let's click on maps, and let's insert a map. And look at that, I now have a map that shows me cookie sales in the Asia region. But the really neat thing now is I could go up to my drop down list, and when I click on this, let's take a look at Europe. Here I'll select that, and the map automatically updates. Here I'll go back up to the drop down and let's shift to North America. Look at that, so this map is now dynamic. It'll update based on my selection in this drop down list. This is now working exactly how I want it to work. Here I'll cut this map and I'm going to bring it into my performance dashboard. I'll press Control X and let's jump over to the dashboard view. Within my dashboard, I'll press Control V to paste it and here I'll choose a position for my new map. That's looking pretty good with the map on my dashboard, but I also want to have the drop down on my dashboard. I'll click into the dynamic map worksheet, and here I'll highlight the region and the drop down list. I'll press Control X, I'll go back to my dashboard, and I'll paste it in right over here. The drop down list didn't transfer successfully, so here I'll click on the drop down, I'll go back up to data, and over here I'll click on data validation. 
here I see the source. It's currently referencing this sheet. So here I'll update the reference. I'll click on this. Let me go to the dynamic map sheet. Here I'll highlight all of my different regions. I'll click back on here and then I'll click on OK. Back now on my performance dashboard, I could click on my drop down and here I can update the region and then the chart updates to reflect that region. This dashboard is now looking pretty slick. Lastly, I also want to show you how you can visualize your data on a 3D map. You can then set up a scene. You can fly around your data and you can even export it as a video so you could bring it into, say, a PowerPoint presentation. Let's jump back into the basic map worksheet and then click into your data. Up above, click on insert and then click on 3D map. This opens up 3D maps and I can now visualize my data on a 3D map of the world. Over here on the right hand side, it successfully brought in the country data, but I don't yet have the cookies sold data in here. Right down below under height, I'll click on the plus icon for add field and I'll select cookies sold. And look at that, I now have stacked columns showing me cookie sales around the world. I could visualize this in different ways. Here I could also load a clustered column. I could also load bubbles. Here I could click on a heat map or I could even select a region view. So this is similar to what I saw in the 2D map in Excel. Over on the right hand side, I could also add categories. You can even add the time dimension if you wanna visualize how data changes over time. You could also add other filters and other layer options. One feature that I really like, you also have the ability to animate your data on the map. Over on the left hand side where you can see all of your scenes, on scene one, I'll click on this settings gear. Right over here, I can choose different effects. I'll select rotate globe. You can also set the speed and then I'll close this out. Now I could click on the play icon and this will now animate my data on the globe. Now that I've set up an animation, up in the top left hand corner, I can even create a video with that animation. Here I could choose the quality level, I could also choose a soundtrack, and then I could export this video. So I could take this video and I could say embed it in a PowerPoint presentation, or I could bring it anywhere else I can bring videos. All right, and that's how easy it is to create a map view of your data in Excel. And finally, I can visualize how our cookies are selling around the world. To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.